Hi friends, welcome back to the Avocado Toast Budget. If you are new here, my name is Lexa, and today we are going to talk about something very exciting and I know that a lot of people are curious about, which is how much do I actually make doing TikTok, doing the Avocado Toast Budget, and being an influencer. Now, we are going to break down all of the finances of the Avocado Toast Budget in this video, but before we get started, if you want to learn more about saving, investing, paying off debt, and how to finally feel more confident with your money, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. Also, push that bell notification, that way you get notified every single time that I upload. And let's get started! Before we get into everything, I want to give a disclaimer that this is not intended for to be some sort of a bragging video. I don't want people to compare their journey to mine, whether that is for worse or for better. Everyone's journey on social media is completely different. And if you are here as an influencer or someone who is trying to be an influencer or trying to grow on social media, whether your accounts are growing faster or slower than mine, please, please do not spend your energy on comparing yourself to whatever it is that I say in this video. I want this video to be fun, but I also want it to be educational. If you are starting off as an influencer or a small business or someone who is trying to make your way on social media, hopefully this will give you kind of some sort of an insight into it, especially from a budgeting perspective, so that maybe it'll give you some ideas on how you can monetize your content or what you can expect from growth. Okay, so if you are new here and you don't know anything about my channel, my channel is all about personal finance, budgeting, investing, all of that stuff. So I come from that sort of background when I am tackling my finances for the avocado toast budget. Therefore, I've tried to be very conscious about where my money is going, where it's coming from, how organized it is, and making sure that I'm not overspending on my budget for the ATB. So how I have done it is I opened up a separate checking and savings account for the avocado toast budget. That way, any earned income or any expenses that are specifically for things that I am doing with the avocado toast budget can come in and out of that account. If you are starting your own small business or if you are an influencer, I definitely suggest doing this when it comes to tax time or when it comes to trying to actually figure out how much you are making it is going to complicate things so much if you have things coming in and out of your personal account it is so much easier to just go ahead and set up a separate account from the start I have mine through Capital One 360 it is completely free so you are not paying anything each month to have it so even if you are not making any money it is worth having it there for when you do start to make money. It also makes it a lot easier to track your expenses so that way you can deduct those from your taxes at the end of the year or at the end of the quarter. Now of course I am not a tax professional so don't take anything that I say as advice for what you should do. Again this is just for educational and entertainment purposes only. Make sure to do your own research on what is best for you. And honestly as I was starting the avocado toast budget I was hell bent on keeping my expenses low. I did not want to have to spend a lot of my own money to get started and I wanted the avocado toast budget to be self-sufficient as quickly as possible. So later on in this video we will go through our entire budget. I have a software for it. I'll show you everything with that and I will also show you how much I am getting paid because this month is actually the first time that I am personally taking money out of the avocado toast budget account to pay myself and to pay our joint account with my partner. Before we jump into the budget though and showing you how much it's made, what my different sources of income are, I want to give a little bit of context in case you haven't followed me from the start or you don't know how long I have been doing this or anything like that, you can have some context for these numbers. So I started the Avocado Toast budget actually as a blog and that was in July. I believe that I published my first blog post either at the end of July or the beginning of August and I originally intended the Avocado Toast budget to be mainly a blog and an Instagram account. Although things quickly changed when in September I started to post on TikTok. I already loved TikTok. It was the thing that I spent the most time on and I really started thinking about who was my ideal audience and my ideal audience has always been pretty much people who are like me. Millennials who never got the personal finance education that we deserve and that we need in order to thrive and feel confident with our money and I started thinking about how do I consume my content. I don't consume my content through blog posts. Now, I don't know if blog posts are really as popular as they used to be. I don't, I don't have any information on whether that's like a dying field or anything like that. I know that there are people who still make 
tons of money doing blogging, but I realized that if I wasn't consuming my content through blogs, why was I making content that was on a blog? Most of the content I consumed was through videos, so YouTube or TikTok. Now, I was a little nervous to jump into the YouTube space because I have done that before. I know it's very time consuming. I know that you want to keep your production quality high and I didn't really have anything to do that. All I had was my phone. I didn't have any lighting or anything like that. And I knew that TikTok was a little bit more laid back. I liked the short video format, so I decided to go with that. So again, in September, I started TikTok. And this entire time, I have still been working my full-time day job. So I balance the avocado toast budget basically as a side hustle whenever I'm not working my day job. Now my growth on TikTok was way quicker than my growth on my blog. And in November was the first time that I actually started making enough money that it was worth tracking. I had money that was actually coming into the avocado toast budget accounts. And I knew that I wanted to make a budget that way I could get a grasp on how much money I was earning, how much money I needed to be spending, what I needed to put into taxes, all of that. So as you'll see in a second, my budget for the avocado toast budget will start in November of 2020 and will go through January of 2021, which is where we are at right now. Also, for some perspective, at the time that I am filming this, I have about 30,000 followers on Instagram, 367,000 followers on TikTok, and 2,800 subscribers on YouTube. So between Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, I have about three main income sources. Affiliate marketing, sponsorships, and then also TikTok Creator Fund. So you will see those in my budget. But now for the moment that we all actually care about and have been waiting for, let's go ahead and break down my budget and see how much I have made for my first paycheck being an influencer. Okay, so this is my budget for the ATB. It is on a software that's called YNAB. I will go ahead and link that down below. It stands for You Need a Budget. I use this for my personal account, for our joint accounts, and also, again, for the avocado toast budget. If you have a small business or if you're an influencer, YNAB is an awesome way for you to keep track of your expenses. Some people also like to use QuickBooks. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and use YNAB because it works for my purposes. So you can see here, this is my January 2021 budget. And right off the bat, you can see how much I have in different categories, including how much I am going to pay our joint account and how much I am going to pay myself for the month of January. So my budget for the avocado toast budget is broken up into basically five different categories. I have variable spending, my annual fees, joint contribution, which is how much money I am putting toward our joint account, pay yourself, which is how much money I am giving myself personally out of the avocado toast budget, and then taxes. So the answer to the big question, how much is my first paycheck going to be? It's $490 to my personal account and then $281 toward our joint account. Also down here, I put 30% of everything that I make automatically toward taxes. Now again, I am not a tax professional. I'm not telling you how to go about doing taxes. This is just what feels most right to me. So every time the ATB makes some money and it deposits into our checking account, I automatically set 30% of that aside into this taxes fund so that when it comes time for me to pay my taxes, I already have this money sitting here. Now, hopefully with deductions and all of that, I won't have to pay this much and I'll be able to keep some of it. But just in case, I want to make sure that I am covered. I don't want to have to pay any money that I don't already have budgeted for the avocado toast budget toward taxes. You can also see over here, this is my ATB checking and my ATB savings. This is how much I have in the checking account right now. This is how much I have in savings. I'm probably going to go ahead and just move some of that from the checking into savings after I pay both me and my joint account. But I always like to make sure that I have a good cushion in my checking just so I don't overdraft anything. And then up here you can see really my only fees that are set in stone for the avocado toast budget are Canva, which I have an annual subscription to. That is how I do all of my thumbnails and my Instagram posts and Instagram stories. And then these three things are basically just everything that I need for my my website. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I was originally a blog, so these were really my only three fees that I had to pay. And I want to keep my website just in case for whatever reason I end up using it. I link people there sometimes if they want like some written products because I do have a lot of content on there about like the basics of budgeting. And it's a good place where if someone is just Googling me for them to find all of my content, my Instagram, my YouTube, all of that. So I'm going to keep that up. I'm going to continue to pay for it. As you can see, it's like less than $20 a month. So that is no big deal to me. And then up here, I just have some variable spending. This is just 
money that the avocado toast budget might need. My next big thing on my list is probably going to be either a microphone for my new camera or a new laptop because this laptop it's still running pretty well but it is getting pretty old. I've had this for like six years um, and this is like my life so chances are I'll probably need a new one at some point. So I want to make sure that we have some spending money in here as well. But if I come over here to toolkit reports we'll be able to see the growth that the avocado toast budget has had since I started tracking money. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I started to budget for the ATB back in November. So if I hover here, you can see November of 2020, the ATB was worth $112.99. That would have been at the end of November of 2020. Then at the end of December of 2020, the ATB was worth $667.40. Now we have come to the end of January. It is January 29th. I don't expect anything else to hit our account for the month of January. And the ATB is worth $2,070.77. So that is a 1,732% increase, which is just crazy. My goal for the ATB when I started it back in July was to be making about $1,000 a month within my first year. And I almost hit that in December, but doubled that into January. So that is just absolutely awesome. I as you can see, the ATB hasn't been established for very long. So I don't have a good idea of what is a normal or typical amount for the ATB to make month to month. Therefore, I can't really give myself any sort of a salary on a month to month basis because who knows, January might have just been a fluke and I might not make that much come February or I might make more or less or whatever it is. I have no idea. So that is why I've chosen to divvy up the money that I have in this way there wasn't really like a specific way that I went about it. I was very strict about making sure that I put at least 30% toward taxes. And I also have made sure that I've covered our annual fees, at least for the next couple of months. That way, if we don't make any more money at the ATB for whatever reason for the next few months, I have those things covered. But other than that, I just kind of split it up the way that I felt right. <laughs> so I basically averaged it gave about half to spending money for the ATB, gave about half to myself, and then around 30-ish percent toward our joint account. But we can go ahead and go back to December and November and see I've never given myself any money. It looks like here at the end of December I had put $71 toward our joint account, but I had only actually paid our joint account 15 of that, so the $56 rolled over into this next month. But other than that, the, the ATB had $6 for spending, so really all of the money has come from January. Now for some context, this is not the money that I earned in January, it's the money that hit my account in January. So I did have a sponsorship, Unfortunately, I can't disclose how much that was, but that won't be hitting my account probably for another couple of months. And then the way that TikTok is set up, that does not hit my account for another couple of months. So the amount that I actually earned in January on TikTok probably won't hit my account until March. So yeah, hopefully within the next couple of months, I will be able to add YouTube on there as a source of income. I am so very close to getting monetized on here. So thank you guys so much. I am really excited excited for that. But now you have a nitty gritty look into the ATB finances and how much I am paying myself in our joint account for the month of January, which is the first month that I am ever making money off of this. Okay, friends, so that is it for this video. I hope that you found this interesting or educational or whatever. Um, it was a lot of fun to film. It was a lot of fun to kind of look back on the last couple of months of growth. If you enjoyed this video and you want future content that is like this, you want me to break down the ATB in future months, please let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up and also let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to make more of this for you guys. I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Before you leave, if you haven't already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. That way you never miss an upload and I will see you guys next time. Bye!